once we have our robot ready like this in 3D, we still have one last step to do if we want to um, prepare a file ready for laser cutting. And it's to export this 3D design into a 2D vectoral format. So how can we do this? Um, what we'll have to do is take all the parts that uh, we are interested in and make them flat on the work plane. So let's do this. I'm going to select all the parts that I, I want to produce with the laser cutter. So I want this, the, the transfer saw part. So uh, the one that holds the micro bit, the one underneath the motor, the one that holds the free wheel, this one on the back, the side, the other side. I have all my parts that I want to cut. I copy and paste them and I'm going to move them on the side to make it easier for me to, to move them around. So they are here. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do command, command and A to select everything and then put this in the middle of my workspace because now that's really what matters to me is to, um, to cut those parts. And now, as I told you, I'm going to lay them flat on the work plane. So to do this, we'll use the tool that we already saw to rotate the parts. This one, I want to rotate it like this. So I take those arrows and I set it to 90 degrees. This one, same, I'm, set, I'm rotating it to 90 degrees. This one, I want to rotate it minus 67.5 degrees. And this one, 90 degrees. So now it's a bit of a mess. They are all over the place with different heights. I want to all bring them on the work plane. For this, we have a um, nice shortcut, which is pressing the letter D on the keyboard. So I select um, this part, I press D, this part, I press D, etc. So I can put all my pieces on the work plane. And then, because I don't want to have them to be, I want, don't want them to be um, uh, on, in the same space, I need to move them around a bit. And now one last thing to do to export it in SVG. Um, let's just, sorry, let's just make sure that they cross the work plane. Um, so I select them all and I'm going to just move them one millimeter down like this so that I also avoid the maybe little mistakes with the screw, for instance, precision mistakes. So now I have them all going through the work plane sort of in the middle of the each pieces, one millimeter in. And what I can do to export them is press the button export. And here I'm saying I want to export only the selected pieces. So it's great. I selected all my parts and I select full laser cutting in SVG. Preparing model for export. Here I have the status, and now normally I should have my vectoral file ready. If I open it in Inkscape, I don't see anything, but that's probably because the contour is not well set so. I can go into contour, no sorry, style of contour and it tells me it's 0 0.014 pixel, so maybe I'll do it one pixel and then here we see everything appear and it's ready for laser cutting. So that's the end of this tutorial and hopefully with this you have all the tools um, 
uh, that you can uh, use to create your own design. So thank you very much for following the tu tutorial until now and uh, good luck with the rest.